delays then issues, which ended up creating a 19 hour trip. And that wasn't even the worst part. Fox 17's Matt Wick host connected with several riders. He joins us now with a closer look, Matt. Amtrak says it all started with a power issue with the first train that left Pontiac Friday morning. Riders say that issue is what made this experience a never ending problem. Issues like no heat, toilets that wouldn't flush, and no real answers to when they were going to get to their destination. So this is what the toilets look like. They're completely overflowing. Emotions high on an Amtrak en route to Chicago Friday. Supposed to have a really relaxed day and then it was high stress. Katie Koblack is in the Chicago Marathon Sunday. She got on Wolverine 351 in Dearborn at quarter to 7 a.m. and was supposed to be in Chicago at 1030 Central. I kind of put my trust in them to get me there in a stress free situation. And uh, I was I was just very disappointed that that trust kind of was broken. Fox 17 connecting with Amtrak about these issues. Senior Public Relations Manager Jason Abrams says train 351 stopped 19 miles west of Ann Arbor due to a power issue with the engine. They kind of stopped communicating with us. I was a little bit panicked. Abrams says Sarah Pizarziak's 351 was coupled with Michigan train 353 heading into Chicago. A train both Gabrielle Reese and Madison Gravelin were on to see Harry Styles Saturday. Like it was like towing a car. I'm like, okay, we're just going to push him. No big deal. What seemed like an easy solution to Gravelin and Reese became a bigger deal. To connect the two trains together, they had to shut off power to both trains. So with connecting the trains and then restoring power to both trains. That was about a three hour, three hour delay, delay just outside of Ann Arbor. Bizarre Jack says the power never did come back. Well, it started overflowing and the whole train smelled like a porta potty is the best way I can describe it. Um, and everything was like moving and sloshing around. It was honestly so disgusting and so unsanitary. Uh on the route between Chelsea and Jackson, someone called 911 because of a medical issue. After first responders answered the call, Abrams says a person stayed on board. Kobolak, who has now been on this train for nine hours, says she was done with it and got off in Jackson. Her brother took her the rest of the way. I wish they had um, maybe anticipated other alternatives a little bit earlier so that I could have gotten out of that situation before and maybe saved myself some of the stress. For others like Sarah, Gabrielle, and Madison, who didn't have a plan B, they continue with their trip. At that point, what they had told us was we were connected to the train in front of us. And at that point, there were no foreseeable issues with getting the rest of the way there. To many of the riders, the situation only got worse. Abram says an issue with the brakes popped up. So under our eight regulations, we are only allowed to work 12 hours Once we run out, uh, we have to stop the train and wait for the new crew to come. Madison and Gabrielle, on their first ever train ride, were lost at what was going on. Just another <laughs> thing on the pile. Yeah. I was, I was kind of like, this can't, it can't be another thing happening. I'm like, how is this happening? A new crew did eventually show up. The crew is not the problem right now. And, um, right now, it looks like we are experiencing mechanical problems. Oh my God. Abram says due to the lateness of the combo train, some passengers elected to safely detrain in East Chicago and find alternate transportation. Okay, we just, I just um, opened that door by myself and we got off and we're climbing over um, live train tracks. Um, this is so dangerous, but it's okay. Bizarre Jack's four hour trip turned into a 14 hour journey. I don't think you can really see it in this video, but that's our train. We just made it off. We're standing on the side of the road with a bunch of people who we just had to get off. It was so bad. Amtrak says one train took about a seven hour delay while the other train almost a four hour delay. Bizarre Jack says her father ended up picking her up. Madison and Gabrielle also got off the train and got an Uber. Several people I connected with say they'll never ride Amtrak again. There was one person I did talk to who said they see this as an unfortunate situation, but does plan to ride back Sunday. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.